So we had an email question come in on how we would illustrate multiplication of binomials when some of the terms in those are negative and how we would use the area model. So for example, let's say we want to multiply x minus 2 times x minus 3 and we want to illustrate it using the area model. Well, the first thing I would do is I would start with a square and I would notate the width of each side as an x. My hope is that all of you will know that the area of the black square now is going to be x squared. Now out of this, we need to somehow construct an area that will be equivalent to x minus 2 and x minus 3. So to do that, we are going to subtract 2 away from one side and then 3 away from another side. When we do that, we can create a partition. Scratch that. Our pieces aren't equal. We can decompose the x into an x minus 2 piece and a 2, and a 3 and an x minus 3 piece. So now if I want to find the area of x minus 2 times x minus 3, it is this orange area. So the orange area, which is what we want, can be found by taking the entire black area, which is x squared, and then we're going to subtract off the pieces. So one of the things that you can do that will help show this when it's multiplied out algebraically is you can think about the pieces as a 2 times an x. So I can subtract that out of the x squared. And then I also have a 3 times an x. So I can subtract that out of the x squared square. But now what ended up happening is I subtracted this portion twice, and there was only one of them to take away. So in order to fix that taking it away twice, I need to add the area of this box in to complete it. So to figure out the area of this, we can see that one side is a 3, and we can see that the other length is a 2. So we're going to add 6 back. If we now combine our like terms, we end up with our answer, which is x squared minus 5x plus a 6.